Still, so we're a bit more prepared on that front, and I uh, thought we showed a lot of, lot of spirit. And, uh, Obviously, I've got a full squad to uh, pull from me, but so he, he changed form of formation and advised the price of starting to make it. That's always a result of players that you couldn't pick, and I think the price coming in for Tom Davis because he was injured. Well, I would have played Isaac anyway because he's training really well uh, in recent weeks, playing well and training well with us. But with Tom and Al, that meant we were. To go to the back three today. No other midfield play. And obviously, then when Duke gets injured in at half time, and we're playing wingers in midfield. Um, so that's where we're at. You know, obviously, some players at the World Cup, Alex is with the national team, so that we're okay once we get back and everyone fit to a degree. But uh, I suppose it gives an opportunity for what Isaac Price was the best player on the pitch. Yeah, I mean, what did you think about the, the attacking tactics? Obviously, most of it was a case of sitting back and absorbing pressure. We did create chances as well. Yeah, I think the, the idea to sit back, I think a back five against the possession team of Celtic, are, it means you're going to have to sit back. It, it wasn't the worst tactic for us today because of the jet lag and the travel and all those things. I think to try and play a high press would be a difficult ask of the players, dry, hot conditions. So um, the men the game plan was, was pretty clear and yeah, we created, I said, the best chance of the game. So we had a couple of the ones second half, didn't they? But until, until half time, we created two of the best chances of the game. And again, the second half, we had good moments. And typically, the minute it's the last pass or the last shot that's not, not going our way. Are you confident what we've seen in training even over here is there some progress in that front? I don't want to answer that with a no. <laughs> but the, the lads have travelled, you know, like you know, the, the whole day we've had sessions just getting legs going. It's not like we've. we've Overanalyze a certain area of that game. This, this week's not for that. It's to, to play, get minutes into the players. Um, and of course, we know that we, we need to improve in front of goal in terms of our clinical nature when we create, we have to score more and, and then we can create more. Um, and some of that is improving and some of that will be the help that we get in January. Yeah. How did Mina respond to the first 45 minutes we've seen back on the pitch? Uh, he felt his hamstring a little bit, so we're going to have to scan that one. He's going to need a scan? Yeah. And the extent of the quarries? Uh, it feels more like a, um, a bang just above the knee as opposed to the knee injury that you worry about so much. So we're hoping it, he may be okay for, for the game Wednesday, or if not, it's not hopefully a, a severe. Away, away from the experience of the match day, I mean, happy last few days, seeing the Blues everywhere, must be good. the support come out all the way over here. Yeah, I thought the support was great for both teams today. You know, you, you expect it, I think, the size of the clubs, they're both huge clubs. And, um, we appreciate it very much that we're supported on the other side of the world. People that watch us in the middle of the night over here or early in the morning, whatever it is. Um, it's a small world these days. So it's nice that we can travel here and be here. And yeah, there can be numbers. Thank you. Nathan Parkson, was he extremely at least take care of the best Yeah, well, he was. He was with his Rangers links and uh, I was more than happy for him to take it. I, I like the lads that stand up. Pats has got some character. He's a good lad. It was uh, nicely competitive. Yeah. There's one guy here who booked February today, but it's going to be February, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think what do you mean from today, Gerald? Uh, good. I think Pat's is, is, um, was, a, was, a, was really, really good for us at the start of the season in his form. Um, and then he got an unfortunate injury playing with Scotland. And since he's come back in, he's still finding his feet a bit to get to those levels. And as a young player, that's pretty normal. So he needs to push on that until he did well a bit today. A couple of bits he can be a bit cleaner on, you know, defensively, I think, in moments, but he's a really good player for us. He's a real, real good outlet on the sides. His defensive game is good as well. So, um, some some good signs there today. Good test today against Jota and all that stuff. Yeah, the tricky play play against. Yeah, yeah, well, this is what Pax was, I think, you know, I, I was always confident in his attacking side of his game, but as a young player, I wanted to see him defensively. At the start of the season, his defensive game was smart, and, and I think he needs to really focus on that side of it. And, uh, Today, a challenge was put, put to him with a player that's got a lot of ability and can go either way on you, and I thought we defended him pretty well, actually. Okay. 
the Sashi crowd as well, but um, Joel Pal, uh, Joel Pal, mm -hmm. um, he's been fantastic for Celtic the last 18 months. Mm -hmm. Good plays like him, I mean, you know, um, lost a life up in Scotland. Yeah, I'm, I'm delighted. When I, when I was at Chelsea, I wanted to, to bring Hart into Chelsea as a, as a number two as such at the time, because I, I, I'm sure that his professionalism and quality as a goalkeeper and rub off on the players and the group would have been a good thing. So I understand why he's done so well in Celtic. He's a top class goalkeeper. And it's top class lad, so I'm really pleased to see him do well. He's got a real presence in the shoot of himself, he actually needs to do it as well, he's still playing for three or four or five years ago. Can you see a potential manager in him? You can see a potential gaffer down the line, the way he kind of carries himself at the moment. Well, it will depend on what he, what he wants, because it's, that's um, obviously yeah, having lived that life myself, I understand that it's much more challenging than playing, and a player has to really buy into that when they pack up. But I think when you look at the development of him, so the maturity of him. I'm not surprised. He was a mature lad when I was playing with him in the city in 2014, whatever it was, uh, and with England. And he's, he's continued with that. And I think that's credit. It's credit to, to rub off, to be, to move the clubs he has done in the end part of his career, and sometimes not be starting, but still be a good influence, and then to go to so and start and play at a high level. I think is, is proof of the character of him as well as the quality. Looking to Wednesday against Western Sydney. What are you looking to get out of that match day? Um, I think similar to today, we'll have another couple of days here to acclimatise. I want to see individuals keep improving their game. Things like Isaac playing well today is great. Um, we need to do a little bit of a body count, we're a bit short in terms of the injuries that we've had. So we'll do that in the meantime. Enjoy Australia a little bit, enjoy Sydney a little bit and uh, be ready for a competitive match. Have you seen much of their football or you'll have a bit of a look in the next couple of days? In the, the next couple day? of days, I've spoken with Aaron and she's been working on them and seeing them. Didn't play, so we'll, uh, we'll have a look at the next couple of days. Okay, guys. Thanks all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.